Hello guys, in today's video we are going to make a project on pendulum. I am sure that all of you watching there must have calculated oscillation time with taking average of different readings. But you know that electronics is always there for lazy people. So in today's video we are going to make a oscillation time counter with help of our Arduino. So let's get started. For the project, you would need the following parts. Firstly, you would need a IR sensor. You would also need a Arduino Uno, some male to female jumper cables for connection of IR sensor to Arduino, and lastly, you would need a data cable to upload code to the Arduino you have collected all the parts necessary for the build the first step is to connect the jumper cables to the IR sensor and the other end of the jumper cable to the Arduino so the VCC of the IR sensor would go into 5 volt of Arduino the ground would go to the ground and the output pin would go on analog pin 0 of the Arduino now let's go to the next step Guys, so in this step you want to upload the code to the Arduino. The code's link would be given in the description and if anyone is interested in in-depth explanation of the code, its video would be upcoming in one or two days. So go and watch it and for now, let's proceed to the build. Okay, guys, so now in this step you want to place the IR sensor on the stand in such a way that it is parallel to the equilibrium position of the pendulum as well as the IR sensor must be in line with the center of the bob. So now let's go forward to the demo. Alright guys, so we have now successfully made our project and now it's time to test it. So I have connected my mobile to the Arduino via our OTG cable so that I could see all the outputs of the Arduino on my mobile screen. So now let's start by giving a small oscillation and loading up the program as you can see we have successfully printed our first oscillation time so now let's give it another shot as you can see we have again successfully printed the second oscillation time reading and it the output is in microsecond which means it is highly accurate as it is in 10 to the power minus 6 of a second so and the difference between the two oscillation is also very less hence it proves that the time output of the Arduino is very accurate thank you guys for watching the whole tutorial I really appreciate it if you are not subscribed to Kaizen Inventor make sure that you subscribe to it and also ring that notification bell also do like my video if you like my effort to make such an awesome project for you and subscribe for more such projects and till then bye